Well, from the very beginning when I first started writing for this record, I really wanted this whole record to be a story rather than it just being a compilation of my favorite Christmas songs or whatever. So also as a worship leader, I was sort of doing some research and I really saw that there was not a whole lot of Advent songs for sort of that beginning expectation part of the story. And so I started looking through and I found this beautiful old hymn, but it's not one that we've sung in America. This hymn is called The Morning Hymn or Christ Whose Glory Fills the Sky, which is actually originally by Charles Wesley, written you know, hundreds of years ago. And I've always loved the tune and I love the lyrics. And so this is adapted from that. In it, he calls Jesus the day star or uh, the day spring. And I love that. And I actually found this beautiful verse in Second Peter 1, it's 19 through 21. It says, we also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things, for prophecy never had its origin in the human will. But prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. And I loved when I found that where it talked about the morning star rising in our hearts and too, I think this entire record, I felt such a sense of looking at the whole thing through the eyes of Advent, which I've learned is actually waiting, kind of putting ourselves in that place as they would have, you know, 2000 years ago, out of this silence came this cry, this baby's cry, and it broke that silence. Dark and cheerless is the morn until your love in us is born. That's part of the song. And I love that, just sort of that anticipation again. But then the other part of Advent I've learned is looking at this story even from the point that he's returning again. And I love this reminder from Peter that the prophecy being fulfilled, it's not something that was from human will, but it was spoken straight from God and it's been carried along by the Holy Spirit. And I felt that sense as I was writing this whole record. And I'm really glad in the end that it is what it is because it's really what I was dreaming of when I thought about this hymn.